Hey guys, it's Lexi and Tucker. What are you doing? I am going to be showing you a quick video on how to properly flat iron your hair. This is going to be an intro video to my how to wand your hair. You can click it down below to the side. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like down below. Okay, so first I'm going to start off by rough drying my hair. It's slightly damp. I got my highlights done earlier. I afterwards after I was done with my hair, I put Keratin Thermique in it. It is a cream-based heat protectant. It's for anti-humidity and frizz. I like this one and Nectar Thermique, but whenever I know I'm going to be like outside doing a whole bunch of stuff, I usually use the Keratin Thermique. Feels dry, but just to be safe, I'm gonna take smaller sections and dry it a little bit more. You wanna make sure your hair is completely dry before you flat iron it. Okay, so once it's completely dry, I'm gonna apply Serum Therapiece. It is a heat protective for dry hair. It also seals your split ends and makes all of this stuff look a lot smoother. I rub most of it through the ends and then at the end when I have just a little bit left, I'll rub it around my hairline. Okay, so now that my flat iron's heated up, I'm gonna start by taking tiny sections, starting from the back. You can either use a hair tie or a clip, it's up to you. And I'm gonna take this and split it into two. I wanted to do this video to show people the proper way to flat iron their hair. You see a lot of people walking around with really good flat iron hair in the front and then like in the middle back, it's all like curly and crazy looking. It's just because they didn't take enough time to like section little small sections. It takes less time to do it right the first time. And you also don't need to take your flat iron and like vigorously like go over your hair like a bajillion times. You're just damaging it and making it fried. I'm taking about a half inch to three fourths inch section. Okay, so this is probably close to everyone's like, okay, I'm so tired of flattering my hair stage. I'm just gonna rush straight through it. And this is the most important part. So if you're one of those people, you should probably start in the front and work your way down. Or if you know you're in a really big hurry and you might not be able to finish your hair. But if you do have time, it actually doesn't matter where you start, but I like to start from the bottom. Okay. So 
as you notice, I'm taking pretty skinny sections and I'm paying close attention to make sure it's straight. And once it's straight, I stop. I don't keep flat ironing it. It's not gonna get any straighter. So I do a few slow passes. I'm not doing this. I see a lot of you doing that. Don't do that. You also want to make sure your sections stay within the length of the plates. If you're taking a bunch of like big sections, you're pulling your hair. I can hear it in my ear. And you're breaking hairs off or you're pulling them from the scalp. And hair takes forever to grow, so you want to hold on to it. back section, which is kind of the hardest place to flat iron, you want to make sure you're doing the same thing you are to the front. to a clip because I didn't have as much hair and all my hair doesn't fit into the clip. tell but I'm sure you could have from like the rest of the video I have it's not super curly but it's definitely textured I put a smoothing treatment on my hair so it loosens my curl without it my hair is actually really curly so I've been flat ironing my hair for like the last probably 15 years so I have gotten pretty good at it it doesn't really get any better each time you do it. It takes a lot of patience, and I'm not a very patient person. So this kind of kills me to do this, but it's worth it in the end. Tucker's on my lap. He likes to sit with me in the mornings when I straighten my hair. I know most of y'all have done this to your hair before. I just wanted to give y'all some quick tips on how to do it the right way and not the wrong way. If you have any questions, please comment down below underneath the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like.